Dear student, so now understand a very important problem here. What is the problem here? Find the sum of all numbers between 200 and 400. Between 200 and 400, which are divisible by 7 only. What to do here? Between 200 and 400, nothing but we have to consider the number from 201 to 399. What are the numbers which are divisible by 7? Let I am considering. Observe here. Let 203, 210, comma 217. So on like this. So on like that. Up to that, uh, the number is 399. 399 are the numbers. Are the numbers divisible by what? Divisible by 7. Uh, which are lies between 200 and 400. Now observe here, from this point of view, I am considering A is equal to 200. 203, got my point. B is equal to T2 minus T1, that is equal to 210 minus 203. Uh, that become what? Uh, that is equal to 7. They are Tn is equal to nothing but L is equal to 399. So now, we wish to find out sum of all the terms. We wish to find out sum of all the terms. That means SN is question mark. Got my point? Now look here. So they are given that TN is equal to 399. Just use the formula for TN. What is TN is equal to? A plus N minus 1 into D. That is equal to 399. Just substitute the value of A D here. Okay now. A is what here? 203 plus plus n minus 1 into d is what here 7 that is equal to 399 got my point so now we wish to find out the value of n from this equation n minus 1 into 7 that is equal to 399 minus 203 have a look on this n minus 1 into 7 is equal to 399 minus 203 399 minus 203 what you will get that is 196 196. So, n minus 1 is equal to from 7 we have to divide 196. What you will get? What you will get? Uh, that become uh, 202. That become not 202. Uh, that is equal to from 7 we have to divide. Uh, okay. 7 2 is 14. So, this become 5. So, 56. Uh, so ultimately from calculations of this n minus 1 is equal to that become so that is n minus 1 is 28 times it goes so therefore n is equal to 29 so when 29 is no number of term we wish to find out the sum using the formula sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus n have a look have a look have a look dear student n is nothing but what number of term is 29 here 29 by 2 into a plus l. What is a? a is the first term that is 203, 203 plus l is the last term. What is that? 399. So that is equal to 29 by 2 into 203 plus 399. That is equal to 602. 602. So now from 2, 602 goes. That is equal to 29 into 301. By multiplying 29 into 301, that you will get 8729. 8729. This is what ESN. So, I hope you all understand this problem. Shall I take up one more problem again? Right? We'll take one more problem. Have a look on this. Find the sum of all integers. 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 Find sum of all integers. Find the sum of all integers from 1 to 100. From 1 to 100. From 1 to 100, which are divisible by, which are, which are divisible by. 2 or 5. This is what our question, right? So now have a look on this. Have a look on this. So we have to consider from 1 to 100, 
which are divisible by either 2 or 5. We have to consider both the numbers which are divisible by 2 or 5. Observe the quantity here. Observe. So, I am going to consider the numbers between 1 and 100 which are divisible by 2 or 5. Let What are the numbers here? 2 I am considering. 2 which is divisible by 2. If I consider 5, next is, uh, sorry, 4 is there. Next 8 is there. Next is uh, 10 is there. Okay. Next is 12 is there. 14 is there. 15 is there. Observe here. Observe here, 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma, so 5, I left 5, I left 5 here, 2 comma 4 comma 5, okay, I am going to take uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, so on like that, the last quantity is, the last quantity is what, 100, are the numbers. Here, among this, among this, the numbers which are divisible by 2 are 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8, so on like that. Okay. Now, the numbers which are uh, divisible by, I can segregate this. I can segregate this. What are the numbers here among this? Let, I am considering 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma 10 comma 12 on what the last number I am considering here I am considering 100 which are so in this sequence I am considering this now find out yes and here so now so here 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma 10 comma 12 up to 100 is there okay how many terms are there exactly 50 terms so yes n is equal to n by 2 into a plus n so, n is what here? 50. There are exactly between uh, uh, 1 and 100, there are 50 terms are there. 50 by 2 into a plus l is 2 plus last term is 100. That is equal to 50 by 2. 50 by 2 is nothing but 25 into 1 or 2. So, 25 into 1 or 2, 25 into 1 or 2, that is equal to 2550. This is SN. 1 S1, 1 S. Again consider another sequence here. Between the sequence, what are that left sequences? We are considering already 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, like that. Consider 5, 15, 25, okay, and then again uh, 35, so on like that. The last uh, number will be 95. 95. So yes, and I am considering here. Sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus n. Got my point. So n is what? How many terms are present here? There are how many terms are there here? 10 terms are there. How can I write? 10 by 2 into a plus n. 5 plus last number is 95. So Sn is equal to, have a look on this. Have a look on this. Sn is equal to 10 by 2, 5 into 9, 5 plus 95 is 100. What you will get? 500. So, this is what Sn. Therefore, therefore, the total sum is equal to, total sum is equal to, so the numbers, that is 2550 plus here 500. What is the total sum that become? Total sum is 3050. This is what total sum. This is all about this problem. Please observe this problem very neatly and effectively. Very neatly, very neatly. Right? Thank you.